New tonight, the Pigeon Forge Rod Run officially kicked off today. The annual event brings thousands of car enthusiasts to Sevier County. However, while some people enjoy the festivities, others are concerned about the future of this event. Reporter Aaron Velasquez is in studio and he spent the afternoon in Pigeon Forge. And Aaron, you're sharing more from attendees about why they come to this event. That's right, Katie. There's one common theme amongst the people I spoke to today at the Rod Run. They all say this is the best place to be come this time of year. Many of the events crowd say the Rod Run was something they grew up going to. I spoke to one family who described the annual event as their Christmas vacation. They drive up from Alabama every year to take in the sights and sounds of the cars and the Smoky Mountains. There's nothing like it. I don't think you can go anywhere else to see this many old fashioned or just any cars. Classic cars. Classic cars from so many makes and models just all in one place. And the beautiful mountains. While the Rod Run may be a place for entertainment for some, for others, it can be a source of business. One that is threatened by a possible upcoming change that would change that would impact car sales on the parkway. Everybody's here to come come look at the cars and you know some people want to take the car that they got and turn it into a different car. Some people want to sell. Um, it just depends on who's who's got the car. Some people come to show their cars and they won't be any of that here if, if, if you know all this stops. Many of those who sell cars at the event said they're unsure of their future attendance if they were able to lose that if they were to lose that capability. The event runs through this Saturday. Pigeon Forge Police Chief Richard Catlett says those visiting the area should seek different routes if they don't want to get caught up in the traffic. He also adds that his department will receive support from neighboring counties as they monitor the crowds this weekend. Back to you, Katie. All right, Aaron, thank you so much.